Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Outlook and how you can change the view within your application. If you find this useful, please click the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It means a lot to the channel. And with that said, let's head on over to Microsoft Outlook. Okay, so here we are within my Microsoft Outlook account. And um, I find that this particular view is actually quite uh, difficult to digest everything that's going on. I find that I sometimes have to move this over here, shrink down the reading pane, um, just to be able to kind of see what's going on email wise. Um, but I'm going to show you the various different ways that you can change and customize your outlook to your personal preference. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is actually head over to the ribbon here and click on the view tab. From the view tab, we get the ability to adjust um, some of the ways that we can um, view um, our particular portal window here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is come over to the layout section. Now this layout section lets us um, do various different things. So use tighter spacing. So if we click this, it allows us to shrink or contract, uh, sorry, contract or expand our emails so that it makes it easier or um, to digest and understand and see what's going on. You can see more on the screen if it's tighter um, and so forth, right? So if I, uh, I personally prefer to bring it in as tight as I can. Next is the folder pane. Um, and again, I have this minimized. Um, you can switch it off or you can have it normal. Um, you know, or include the favorites, turn them on and off and so forth. Um, and what this basically means is this bar just over here, as I say, I have it minimized, which means it's collapsed to the left hand side. Um, but you can have it normal, which basically expands it out um, just like so. OK, and then you can kind of detail out all of your accounts and you can look that way. Um, but personally, I prefer to have that um, minimized down. OK, uh, next is the reading pane. I personally like to switch this off. I don't like to see the reading pane. I like to click into my emails and then read them. Um, some people like the reading pane because it, it avoids um, some of those read receipts that you might get. So you can read the email without actually clicking into the email to trigger the read receipt. Um, so some people do, some people don't. I personally prefer to have it switched off and I click into my emails and I purposely read them um, rather than having the reading pane. Um, but you can have it on the right hand side like that or you can um, actually set it up so it's underneath the emails as well. Um, but as I said before, I like to switch that off. The to-do bar. Um, now I, this is not switched on for me, um, but you could have a to-do bar on the right hand side I believe. Um, so if I click on my calendar. I have a calendar appear on the um, right hand side here. Um, and if I wanted to, I can um, change that to tasks or I can change it to off, which is my preferred um, method there. OK, so that allows you to set up your layouts um, of your particular outlook. Um, obviously, under your emails, you have these various different field headers and you can add more or take um, them away depending on um, all of your personal preference, right? So if you just right click and then go to settings, you can see here you can include um, the different columns. So I can just choose the options and drag them over. Um, so for me, I have importance, icon, header, status, attachment, from, subject, received, um, size, and flag. But if I want to include something else, I can literally just find it from this list. Um, so let's choose something that might be uh, relevant. So let's see, is there anything here that I might want to include? Um, let's just include the CC. So if I just add the CC in, now that would put it down on the far right hand side because this is in the order of your um, of your columns here represent the order of your uh, data in that particular window. So what I'd want to do is I would want to move my CC um, subject up just next to the from. So it's from and then CC. If I click OK and then click OK here, 
I've now got a CC field appeared um, within my outlook next to my subject. Okay. Um, and again, you can right click and go to view settings and there's lots of different things that you can do here. I'm not going to go through them all, but you might want to play around and just as I said before, personalize your Microsoft Outlook to suit your preference. Um, and that was it guys. I wanted to keep this quite a quick tutorial just on how you would access a few things, tidy up your Outlook and adjust it and personalize it um, to your own personal preference. If you did find this useful, please click the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It does mean a lot to the channel. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.